Good afternoon and welcome inside the John Rhodes Community Center here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario as we get ready for NOJHL action between the Sioux Thunderbirds and the eighth ranked team in Canada, the Timmins Rock. Anthony Vlad, Dominic Turco with you here this afternoon and anybody that's chosen to tune in to us, we thank you very much on a very busy sports day as the game goes on. We'll keep you up, Dom, your goaltender tonight. For the Timmins Rock, Vance Meyer, record 11-3, 0-0. 1.50 goals against average, 930 save percentage, four shutouts for the Guelph native. For the Thunderbirds, Sam Avola, 2-1, 1.96 goals against average, 938 save percentage, one shutout for the Rochester, Michigan native. Broom. The newest addition to the Thunderbirds, Jacob Broom. It's our first time seeing him. A turnover is a chance now for Hayes coming in. Hayes, great stop, Meyer. He's not the biggest goaltender, but he made himself look big there. Not much to shoot at for Hayes, and Meyer keeps this game scoreless. Oh, I mean, Caron with it. Two minutes for interference. Anderson dropped it off. Shot off the post. It stayed out and cleared off the goal line by Chiquello. That one rang iron and stayed out of the net. Chiquello. Save the day. Arnell, Boyce, one timer, a stick snapped in half, and now he's gonna try and kick it. He missed it, and an opportunity as the penalty expires. Clemens, Savard, back to where Clemens, loose puck in front. Thought of her player is mugged on his way to the net, and there's one penalty coming for hooking. Wow, it doesn't look like Jaquello drew a penalty there, but he was mugged by Tyler Schwig coming back, and the Rock lucky to only be getting one penalty. Savard in the corner is a penalty about to expire. Savard throws it in front. Clemens tipped it in behind Meyer and went across the goal line. None of the officials saw it. The referee was way out of position. I think the linesman may have got a piece of it, but we could tell from our vantage point that that across the goal line. But the official that was in the zone was not in position. He was in the faceoff dot and the puck was in behind Meyer now they confer and he'll call it a goal. Parnell in front, banging forward. Beaudry shot, never made it to goal. Still lose, Parnell scores! Stewart Parnell. It was again Timmons just buzzing around the Thunderbird zone. A home side couldn't find the puck and Stewart Parnell finds the back of the net. That's a, you gotta be careful. Parsons, a high rising shot that went wide of the net, and, either, and Smeal had to duck out of the way of it. Smeal throwing it in front, great transition, score! Curtis Rogers gets it through the legs of Meyer, and it's 2-1 Thunderbirds. Didn't look like there was much there as it was started by an errant shot from Parsons. Smeal ducked out of the way, it ended up in the corner. Smeal found it, and just a quick pass in front. Rogers wasted no time letting it go. And he beat Meyer. I see a lot of smiling faces making their way back into the arena right now here for the third period as Canada again victorious in the gold medal game. Well, former Sioux Greyhound captain Barrett Hayton with a goal and Akil Thomas with the winner. Which is ironic because everyone thought he was the one that should have got cut when they were in Europe. So. Always seems to be the uh, most unlikeliest that gets the gold medal winning goal. Back just like that. Got to Finley and he was checked off the puck on a good hit there from Carter Renouf. Chiquello couldn't keep it in and here's a chance now. It's Dixon walking in and he was tied up and couldn't get the shot off. Dixon able to pick up the loose puck. And behind the net, wrap around in for great save, Evola. Oh, he got the left pad down and he made a game saving stop there. Along the boards, and here's a chance now. Timmins shot, save, and Ebola made the save on the rebound as well. As that was Dixon, penalty coming up. Great chance in front, and Ebola made another stop. Bodies flying everywhere once again. It comes back to Boyce. He takes a shot off the skate. Bounces right to Schwint. 90 seconds to go in the period. Koserko across the ice, back door, off the post from Robitaille. Robitaille to Boyce. A circle, even strength, off the post, it stayed out. And a chance now to clear 
Savard over skater the puck. He got it out to center. Thunderbirds can't ice it anymore as the penalty expired for Obatai. Timmons thought that puck bounced off the back of the net. Looked like it stayed out from our vantage point. Didn't come out, now it does. 12 seconds to go in this game. The Thunderbirds, a chance to come away with a huge victory. Gloved down by Clemens, throws it in deep, and that will do it as Dixon and Clemens have words as the buzzer sounds and the Thunderbirds come up with a huge two to one victory over the Timmins Rock. We said earlier in this game that this could be one that defines the second half of the season for the Thunderbirds. A short bench that was made shorter at the start of the game with the injury to Washington, and they got out a victory over the number eight team in Canada.